We can go hundreds of thousands of miles into space, but when it comes to inside the Earth, we have barely scratched the surface. Hey diggers, what's shaking? This is DNews and I'm Trace. If you look down right now, you probably see the floor. But under that floor is dirt and way under that is bedrock. And under that, hypothesis and theory. Seriously, we have gone to the moon, but the deepest we have ever been on our own planet is 2.4 miles into the crust at the Tautona mine in South Africa. What's down there? How does it affect us? New research has some insight. Scientists throughout history have mapped the inside of our planet by measuring the movement of seismic waves generated by earthquakes. Like sound waves, these are reflected and refracted and they change speed as they pass through rocks of different densities and flows. Geologists believe as the primordial earth cooled, heavy elements sank to the middle and lighter elements floated to the top. The result was a multi-layer planet. The crust is the top 25-ish miles, then a 1,800 mile thick inner and outer mantle made of highly pressurized superheated rock which flows really slowly like asphalt on a hot day. Under that is an inner and outer core made of heavy metals. This is where we think our magnetic field comes from. The outer core is a hot liquid iron alloy and the inner core is probably solid nickel and iron. Thanks to some new computer models from the University of Leeds and the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, we've modeled the inside of the planet a hundred times more accurately than ever before. The new model has revealed the moon sized in her core is super rotating in an easterly direction and the outer core is flowing much slower in a westerly direction. This opposing rotation is like a generator that we think creates the magnetic field of our planet called the geomagnetic dynamo. Doomsday predictors complain about this field switching or disappearing altogether, but science has shown the magnetic field has already done that. Back in 1692, Edmund Halley, like the comet, showed that the Earth's magnetic field has a westward drift. And by looking at 30,000 year old lava flows, geologists can tell it's also drifted eastward at times. That's not really what these doomsdayers mean though. They mean a pole swap. North becomes south, south becomes north. OMG, this has happened too. 780,000 years ago, during the Stone Age, the magnetic North Pole was actually on the bottom of the planet. Science! Now, with the help of these computer models plus centuries of seismic tests and geology, we know more about how the core of our planet works and also the magnetic field. The swapping isn't going to do anything too crazy. A switch of east-west drift ain't a big deal. We have to adjust for that anyway because the magnetic North Pole isn't perfectly aligned with the North Pole. It's drifting westward one compass degree about every five years or so. But a switch of the North-South field would take between 1,000 and 10,000 years and would definitely affect humans. During that time, compasses wouldn't work and scientists think our weakened magnetosphere wouldn't block cosmic particles as easily. This would cause more intense and frequent aurora, cool, but maybe other problems like ozone holes and maybe increased increased cancer rates, no one's exactly sure. So what do you think of this? Are you worried? Spill the beans and thanks for sticking around with DNews today. Make sure that you subscribe so you can find more DNews without a compass and we'll catch you on the flip side.